Good evening. Good evening. Welcome and to our Christmas Eve 2021 service. We are so glad you can be here. Welcome home. Um, we welcome those in the sanctuary, and this evening we are recording our worship so that we can share that online uh, later yet today. So be looking for that, and if you have friends who couldn't come, please let them know that uh, that is available to them, both on YouTube and in our Facebook page. There'll be a link for that. Um, as you saw when you came in the door, there is a, um, a treasure chest out there. We just... I got through hosting for the last two days, uh, Riverside Church Association um, Christmas VBS, which was which was something new and different that we tried, and I think it went well. And thanks to all those who were involved, but it does take a dollar or two here and there from all of our churches in Riverside. So that's our mission um, for this Christmas Eve is to help fund that so that we can have VBS this summer. And I'm not going to say this too loud because those people are all in the room. Maybe we'll do it again next year. We'll just have to see. But uh, for sure, we want to keep that summer going because we want Jesus to, to the, the story that we tell tonight, we want that to happen outside of these doors, that telling, not just inside. Um, worship will be this Sunday at 10 a.m., and for those who just are like, it's the day after Christmas, I don't want to get up and go to church because i got to get dressed. Nope, no excuse. It's PJ day. It's pajama day at church. And uh, come in your Christmas jammies or in some very casual clothes. And we are just going to relax, talk about Jesus, and have a good time. So I hope you'll join us this Sunday at, at 10 o'clock. <coughs> there will be no Sunday school this Sunday. Or the second and we'll be back at 845 with two Sunday school classes one for adults and one for kids um, on the 9th of January so we look forward to having you join us for that now if you would join with me for our call to worship <clears throat> sing a new song of our ancient story sing, the of sing a new song of our ancient hope Sing a new song of peace and love. Sing of the angels of love. Amen. Let us pray. Light of the world, shine upon us this night. Shine in our lives that we may shine with your love. Shine in our world that your light may overcome all darkness and fear. Shine through our worship that our souls may be strengthened with the power of your light and love. In the name of of love, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hear the words from the prophet Isaiah. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. night, this night is a night to remember. A night when home broke in on us. A night where we were not forgotten or alone or abandoned. This night, this night is the night when here and there become one. When past and future combined in a breathless present. This is a high night when we are home in ourselves, in this family, in the God who loved us enough to walk beside us. We gather in the night to proclaim the light. We shrug off despair and embrace hope. We set aside conflict and choose peace. We push away despair by claiming joy. We overcome hate by rising into love. Because this night we know 
even in the shadows of our doubts, we know that we are loved. That's what it means to be home. We light these candles, hoping to become the light, hoping to radiate light by how we live. We light these candles to create a space called home in this place, in our place, in inner places. We light these candles to declare that unto us a Savior is born, who is Christ the Lord. Welcomed home by angels singing and shepherds kneeling. Welcomed home by those like us who have worshipped for thousands of years. Welcome, welcomed home again tonight, right here, right now, in us. It's time to be home. softly sing her arm around me by the wind. A newborn baby is a new Messiah. The angels sing for all to hear the wise men are drawing near. Their voices harmonizing Seek him. He 
came to take our sins away. He'll guide us on that judgment day. The bridge to our salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. saying, 
Behold, the virgin shall be with the child with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took Mary to be his wife. We learn a great deal from Joseph about God and being committed to serving him and living with character and compassion. Joseph did not know what would lie ahead of him, but he obeyed the angel and followed with courage and faith. And now please uh, join in singing Angels We Have Heard on High, verses 1 and 2.
same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I, behold, bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born, born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill to, among those he favors. 
a holy mystery, this babe, this child of Mary. We do well to ask, what child is this? And we do well to listen to the answer. The answer made by the angels concerning peace on earth among those whom God favors. Peace among those who truly understand this child as the gift of heaven, our Emmanuel. Uh, and now we'll be singing, While Shepherds Walk, Wash Their Flocks, number 236 in the into the way that we live and breathe and become more and more that thing which he calls us to be by his teachings and through the leading of the Holy Spirit that he left here for us to be yeah. guided by. And today, we welcome home. We welcome Christ into our lives in so many different ways. Through worship, through the things that we do in word and deed, and the way we live those lives that God created for us to live. We are sometimes welcomed home in ways that we have never imagined would be possible. I want us to take just a minute and think about those shepherds who heard that proclamation from the angels. Now, we know that the shepherds were not considered royalty or even upper society by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, they were pretty close to the very bottom of society's rungs on the ladder. Nobody that these folks would ever think um, a, a king the proclamation that a king had been born would come to these guys before anybody else. I mean, they are living out in the middle of nowhere with some sheep. And if you've had sheep, that's not very pleasant. The smell is not so great. They can be a little stubborn. They can be a little demanding. But it's these guys who have made it their, their life service to care for these, these herds of sheep. Now, can you imagine, it says they were, they were uh, being taken care, they were aware of what was going around them. So many times when we see the kids' Christmas play, or even when we imagine it in our, 
in our brains, these guys are sleeping, right? They're laying out there in the dark on their little bundle, and maybe they got a blanket over them, and behold, an angel of the Lord came and woke them up out of the dream. But it says that they were paying attention, that they were alert to what was going on them, as they would have to be as shepherds, because some of the shepherds always had to be awake, no matter what time of day or night it was, to keep predators from coming in and stealing those sheep. Now, it may not be a coincidence that we are considered sheep and Jesus, sheep and Jesus our shepherd. And the first proclamation of the birth goes to who? The shepherd, who is tending their sheep. Now, many times their whole family would be with them. They'd caravan across the desert. What was their home? It wasn't so much a what as a who, right? We, we all have these quirky little, little things we can set around the house now, right? Just take a, a little drive to your closest home store and you will find little things like, home is where the heart is, right? Home is where the people I love are. And that's true. Home is where Jesus is and we love Jesus. Now, those shepherds did something that I want you to think about. They didn't say, hey, this is so great. Look, these angels came. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Bob and Susan heard about it down at the, at the corner store because if they came to us, they would go to Bob and Susan. No, they didn't just suppose that they had heard. They went and told, and they said, hey, look what happened to us tonight. You will not believe it. We, you know, George was out and he was tending those sheep and he came running in and said, look at the sky. See that light? Look. And suddenly there was a multitude. That is like having a flash go off. You know those flash grenades and they make the huge pop of light and the huge bang? That's what these angels were like. They were getting those shepherds' attention. It was no wonderful little Oh, here we are singing songs of joy. They wanted their attention, and they wanted them to be so excited that they would go out and tell the rest of the world about this new baby. We're Jesus' sheep, right? How many people do you tell in a week about the joy of being and belonging to Jesus and that Jesus is your home? Jesus, knowing that Jesus is with you at all times, gives you the comfort of our dream home. We aren't very good at that. But these shepherds were so excited they went and do it. What do we need to do to get that excited? How do we just celebrate the fact that Jesus was and is in our life? How do we just celebrate the fact that we are the sheep? this amazing shepherd. What if we celebrate every day, not 